Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So Int Kid Buu's Extreme Z Awakening is going to be available on Global in about three days from now. So in today's video, I want to give you guys a full breakdown of everything you need to know about him, including his Extreme Z area event, his Extreme Z Awakening details, as well as some basic team building tips to uh, get you guys fully ready. Okay, so with all that said, let's start with his Extreme Z area event first. As you guys can see, it first dropped on Global, or sorry, on JP on October 13th, 2020, and it's coming out on Global on January 11th, 2020. The weakness for this event is the Pure Saiyans category, and since Kid Buu is going to be an Int type enemy, you obviously want to bring as many Fizz type Pure Saiyans category units on your team as possible, right? From there, we have the stages, and it's pretty standard compared to other Extreme Z battles, so every stage gives you one Dragon Stone up until level 30. You're also getting some Int Orbs, you're getting some Int Kai's, and also the Extreme Z Awakening Medals for Kid Buu. Now, after level 3, he gets additional damage reduction of 50% against Tech Types. Obviously, you don't want to bring any Tech Types because he is Int. And then after level 7, he gets additional damage reduction of 60% against AGL and tech type units. As always, characters that are SSR or lower can only cause less than 2 million damage after level 9. And then after level 12, he gets additional damage reduction of 70% against AGL, tech, and SDR types. And finally, after level 19, he will have additional damage reduction of 80% against AGL, tech, STR, and extreme types. So basically any of these types as well as all extreme units will barely do any damage to him at this point. And you really only want to bring uh, super fizz or super int units ideally from the pure saiyans category. Okay so after level 19 you're going through the stages and you're getting your medals, getting your orbs, kais, and also uh, dragon stones. And once you complete stages 1 to 30, you're going to have enough medals to fully extreme Z awaken the Int Kid Buu, enough orbs to rainbow an Int unit, and also 11 Int Grand Kais and 30 dragon stones. On top of that, if you complete all the missions, you'll get four more stones. The first one is win the Extreme Z battle within 50 seconds at level 10 or higher. The second one is win the Extreme Z battle within 1 minute and 25 seconds at level 20 or higher. And the third one is win the Extreme Z battle at level 20 or higher with a character from the Pure Saiyans category on your team. So a total of 34 stones. And uh, that is pretty much everything you need to know about this event. Uh, oh, also of course you get a Platinum Hercule statue for clearing every stage beyond level 30. So if you guys are low on Zenny, then this is a good way to uh, you know farm those Hercule statues. And let's pop over to the actual unit now and see what he can do. Now, there have been some people in the community that have said that the Kid Buu's Extreme Z Awakening is disappointing or just bad or something to that effect. And all I can say is that is straight up not true. Now, you could argue that his EZA is a little bit basic. It's a little bit boring, maybe. But aside from that, it is a very, very good Extreme Z Awakening. Okay, so let's do a quick comparison between the pre EZA details and the post EZA details so you guys can see the difference. His old leader skill or pre EZA leader skill is Extreme Int Types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%, Super Int key plus 1, HP attack and defense plus 50%. New leader skill is Extreme Int key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%, or Super Int key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 90%. Old super attack, immense damage, and recovers 12% HP. And new super attack, raises attack and defense for one turn, causes immense damage, and recovers 12% HP. Old passive is attack plus 100%, and then plus an additional attack plus 70%, when HP is 30% or more. Now the name for his passive was actually super accurate because it seemed like all they really cared about when designing this unit was attack, right? But not anymore, because with the Extreme Z Awakening, his new passive is attack plus 100%, plus an additional attack and defense, plus 70% when HP is 30% or more, and then Majin Power Category Extreme Class Allies key plus 1 when HP is 50% or more, and Extreme Class Allies key plus 1 when HP is 70% or more. Now, it would have been nice if it was just straight up you know, extreme class allies key plus two with no restriction and also no specific category. 
Like, I don't think that would have made him too broken or anything like that, but I guess this is how they decided to make him, and it's fine. It's not bad. And of course, the additional defense is super welcome. Also, a little bit more defense on the super attack, and that 12% HP recovery with every super is still amazing. And obviously, with the EZA, he also gets improved stats. So now, at rainbow status, he'll have 20,033 HP, 18,673 attack, and 10,935 defense, which will obviously help a lot with his damage output and his uh, tankiness. So uh, that is the Int Kid Boo Extreme Z Awakening for you. Like I said, it is a little bit basic. It's not really like anything fancy, but you can't say it's a bad Extreme Z Awakening because that is just straight up not true. So if you guys have Int Kid Boo, then make sure to get his EZA done because this is probably the closest thing will have to an LR Kid Boo for a while, okay? So from there, let's pop over to the Pure Saiyans category where we can go over the units. Um, as I said, the basic premise for team building for this event is to bring as many Fizz type Pure Saiyans units as possible, specifically super type Fizz type uh, Pure Saiyans units, right? So the best leader here is obviously this uh, transforming Vegeta. You could also bring the AGL Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, but he's not going to be doing any damage to uh, Kid Buu after stage 19. Uh, so the second best leader is actually going to be the LR Godku, if you guys have him. And then from there, let's go over to the LRs. You want to bring as many of these guys as possible. Any of them would be good. Any of them will absolutely wreck Kid Buu. And we also have the Fizz TURs. And any of them can do just fine, but some highlights would be, of course, the uh, Super Saiyan Blue Goku, Berserk Kale, uh, Stun Ku, let's see, uh, Xeno Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta is awesome as well, this kid's not bad. Um, you know, like, anybody can work, just bring your best Super Fizz type Pure Saiyans units, and you should be good to go. And if you're short on the Super Fizz types, then Super Int types can also work, they're not going to be as effective, but still quite effective if they are Pure Saiyans. So here are some options, um, this Vegeta is great, this Goku is obviously awesome, uh, UI Goku is still good, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, uh, Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, Kid Goku, and so on and so forth. And of course we have the Intel Lars, which I think I didn't highlight. So these three are great, he's going to be a little bit iffy, but still probably usable for uh, this event. Um, this Vegeta, not so much, because once again, he gets 80% damage reduction against all extreme types after level 19. So uh, there you go guys, that was your basic team building guide for the Int Kid Buu Extreme Z Battle Event. Um, if you guys don't have a lot of pure Saiyans units, then you could also get away with using just a good super Fizz type team. Um, it's gonna be, you know, trickier, it's gonna be tougher, but definitely still doable. All right, so that is the global preview video for you guys. Int Kid Buu dropping on January 11th, about three days from the time this video comes out. And of course your boy, as always, will be live to uh, stream the grind. So if you guys can make it, then make sure to tune in and we'll do it together. But uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.